afternoon, guys. This is Joe Mullings uh, and Marcelo Cohen at the Armor here, uh, shooting a couple of positions for Jiu-Jitsu Mania. I'm going to show you a position today from Back Attack. Originally, uh, Mario, Mario Sperry was here at the Academy and showed us some attacks similar to this, and we've made a couple adjustments for that. Mario pointed out that this is really effective for no gi and MMA, um, and we've converted it and made a couple uh, 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 modifications to it that seem to fit our bodies. So we're not as good as Mario, so we had to make a couple changes to uh, make it work for us. So let me just show you. So classically, when we take somebody's back, and I don't care really how you got here, but my classic position for taking the back is here, right? I've got my backpack position, meaning my over and under. I happen to fancy this grip here. I like this grip for this position, okay? I know I've seen guys do different grips, but for me, and I'll show you why, I come in, dead hand this against the chest, grip here. Now, we're all taught to escape from this position like this. Watch what Marcelo does. Marcelo wants to move to the side that the arm is not. So look what he does. He puts that down, he steps out, and he gets his butt on the mat, right? So this is how we've been taught to escape or one of them from the back position, right? And I like this because it lets Marcelo fall right into my web. Let me show you. So we're here. I take Marcelo's back. I stay close. I come back. I try and get him to this side, but no, what's he do? He escapes. Boom, he puts that leg down. As soon as he puts that leg down, now I wait. Now he's going to jump out to get his butt on the mat. As soon as Marcel gets his butt on the mat, look what I do. I bring my chin up close to him because I want to create a barrier here. I also bring up my right forearm here. And look what I do. I walk my hips out and I stay right here at Marcella. I raise this up. I raise my head into him and I just pull him into me here for a choke. It's a very, very tight position. Very difficult to get away from. So again, we'll do it real time. I can hear Marcelo, right? I come here, right? I let him go, boom. It's very important that I clear my hips right away, keep my belly on the mat, and now I put my chin against him. I raise up my elbow, and now look. I drive my right shoulder into Marcelo's head as my arm is across his neck. So that's if he's escaping. What we've done is, We've made it a proactive position now. Meaning that maybe he knows my game. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna take Marcelo's back and I'm not gonna wait for him to escape. You're gonna see me put an underhook underneath here and throw him to the side. So I come here, I take my opponent's back. I do this, I bring him back. Now I do this, watch. One, two. And look, same setup. Elbow up, chin in, drag him in. We use the throw because it allows Marcelo's body to go one way and he's airborne. He can't generate enough force to counter. While he's airborne, I skip my hips out and rotate them flat on the mat. Watch again, one more time. <coughs> Boom, again, tight. I bring him up. Look, this foot. I'm going to throw him that way. Boom. Now look, here. It helps me rotate. Elbow up, pressure. So, back, attack, a la Zamario, a couple modifications. Enjoy.